In Reference Point Software, software for Mac and OpenOffice on Windows, you can include and exclude references for a particular paper. Say I'm typing a paper and I didn't use these two references, I can just uncheck them. But some people like to have a totally separate list for each paper, and that's easy to do once you know where to look. So my current file name is my file 2 Let's say I want to create a totally new file for a whole different set of references. Click on File, New Database, and the default name is My References 1, which is good enough. And it's going to save to the desktop. Not really the best place, but it's good for a demo. You might want to change that to My Documents and click Create. And it says changes will take effect the next time you close and open. Click OK. And I'm just going to quit and go back in. OK. So now I have a blank list. The file name is My References 1. And I can create a new reference here real quick. And I'm going to save it. And so now I have one reference in my new reference database. So, so suppose now I want to go back to the other file. I go to File, Open. I want to go to my documents. Oops. There's my file too. I double click that. It says the same thing. I have to close and restart. And now I'm back to my original list. 